ni bavugire me ry'uburezi ujye uhita wumva Happy Kids School Happy Kids School ifite abari mu binzobere batanga amasomo mu kicuro cy'amashuri incuke ariyo nursery school cyangwa se guardian tutibagiwe na creche ndetse na mashuri abanza ariyo primary school mu kicuro cy'amashuri incuke ariyo nursery school cyangwa se guardian tubafitiye amashuri yose ukora atatariyo baby class middle class na top class mu mashuri abanza cyangwa se primary school tubafitiye kuva mu mwaka wa mbere kugeza mu mwaka wa gatandatu nuza n'umwana wawe muri happy kids school uza muzanye mu moko meza byabareze ibinzobere muri uyu mwuga iri shuri riherere hari gahanga iruhanda rw'isoko ukase ku muhanda werekeza kuri cricket neza neza imbere y'urusengero rwa DP gushaka ibindi bisobanuro wahamagara kuri izi nimero zikurikira 0788 683 Courses. Uh, today, I want to help you do different exercises that you are having at home in your book of all the package and even other students of your friends they are at home. Today, I want that we look about a female woman. I think in the class we have seen, we have done, we have, we have, we have done different exercises about a female woman, and here on the blackboard. Uh, different exercises that I want to help you to work out different animals. Uh, dear students, I want to remind you all about animal. What is it? Animal. Yes, animal is a polygon. It's a polygon with numbers at its vertices. At its vertices and the sum of these numbers determine the numbers written in its edge. Here I want you to know two things. I want you to know what is it vertices and what is it edge. What we call a vertex, the vertex of a polygon. Now, as you know a polygon, a polygon is a figure, it's a structure which is heading more than two sides. So that's what we call a polygon. So a polygon, a polygon is heading edge and vertices. When it is one, it's a vertex, and when they are more than one, they are called vertices. That is perfect. Now, for this, let's think about that this is an ephemeral. And I think about one like this one, it is heading a vertex and it is heading an edge. For this edge now, they are telling us that when we work out the numbers on that I think about one, we will find that some numbers are written at the edge of the polygon and the numbers are written at the vertices of that I think about one. Now, to this I think about one, they are saying that the numbers which are written at the vertices are added and put together to find what we call the sum of numbers. So, to get this sum of numbers, when it is found by adding the numbers which are found in the vertices, we will write the answer, we will write the sum of those numbers which are written in the vertices at the edge of the Adigma. Now, I want you to look at this, to look at this mathematical set. Let's consider this figure here, which is in a rectangular form. This rectangular form it is heading four sides, but the among those four sides, I can I want to show you from this what you call an a, a, a niche and a vertex. So, what can be the vertex? The vertex is of this rectangle. Number one, this rectangular form is having four sides. One, two, three, four. 
the edge now, the edges are those side, this outlining line, this one. This is the edge from this corner to this one. This is what you call an inch. And this is an inch. This is another inch. This is another inch. So, when you consider this rectangle, this will be the inch. Now, what can be the vertices now? The vertices will be this meeting, the way that two sides are meeting. It is a joint of two different sides. This side and this side, they are meeting at this vertex. This is what you call a vertex or a point. Hope you are getting me very well. This point where the two sides are meeting is where we call the vertex of the Now, let's come back to our Alphimadon here where we have a polygon like this one. To this polygon, I want you to consider different things here. We have this corner, another corner here, another corner here, and you have different parts, different sides. Let's consider this alphabet to be an alphabet an of a triangle. This triangle it is having three sides, you know. Number one, number two, number three. And they are telling us that an alphabet is a polygon with numbers and its vertices. What are the vertices of this triangle? This is one vertex, this is another vertex. This is another vertex. We have three vertices. To make that a triangle is having three vertices. Vertices. Number one, number two, number three. Three vertices. So those are three vertices now. Are having, are, are having they are three, they are corresponding with three sides. So this side and this other side. Another side. So to make that, what can we call a niche? A niche it is this right boundary of the triangle. One, 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 one inch, another inch, another inch. So from this structure, from this polygon we are having here, we have vertices and we have edges. Yes. I want now to show you how this alphabet will be complete. It will be complete when it is having numbers where in, in here in vertices we are having numbers and here on each we are having num numbers. Yes, dear students, we will need it to work out. They are, they are telling us that when the sum, the sum of numbers which are in vertices of the polygon is written on the each of each and every side, that will be an alphabet. Let's see if this one is an alphabet. What is it? Here we have nine. In this, in this vertex we have nine. Nine. In this vertex we have seven. Yes. This is the this is one vertex. This is another vertex. Let's see. With this one is one vertex and this one is another vertex. How can we get the answer here? In this each, they are telling us to find the sum of the two vertices. To minimize we add numbers which are in these two vertices. After adding them, the answer is written at the edge of this side. That's why to get this answer, now we have to say that this is one vertex and this is another vertex. So, what does it mean? When we consider two vertices and we add numbers which are there, we add them. To make that we will add 9 and 7. This sum is 16. So, this sum, when it is written at the each of the two vertices, this will be the Let's see. Here we have 9 and 7. To mean here we have 17. This is each of one inch of our, our arithmetic. So our arithmetic one now, it is having another, another vertex here. This is another vertex. So for this vertex, we have 12. Here we have another vertex, which is having 7. So to find the number here, I will need to add the numbers which are found in these two vertices. 
That is why I have added 12 and 7 and 7. Here I can get, we will get 90. So to me that I have added numbers in these two verses to get the answer at the age of Mrs. Hope you understand this. Let's see how I get now the number here. Considering that this side is each, we need to add numbers which are found in the verses of this side. To me that I will consider this point where two sides are meeting, which is called the vertex. So when you add numbers here in this vertex and numbers in this vertex, I will get the sum which is here at the each. So when you find that the sum here is the sum of number 9 and 12, this will be in a theme So for the our theme and I can see that this sum is found for taking the numbers 9 and 7 and, and, and 12, I mean. So this this each is found by taking 9 plus 7, the sum here, we add 12 and 7. We have a sum here. So this is this polygon which is having numbers like that is what we call Arthima. Arthima. You have to repeat yourself. It is what you call Arthima. Now, let's see the example here now. For the second part here, we can see here different Arthima balls where we can complete them by using this form we have seen here on the back. Let's see. They are telling us to study the Arthima ball shown here below and complete it or them by inserting, by putting in appropriate numbers or numbers. Okay, now let's start this Arthima ball. For this Arthima ball, we have different numbers. Some are in the vertices, in the vertices others are in the edges. So, what do we do? We will see to know, we have to know which is missing. What is it missing? Is it the number in the vertex, in the vertex or is the number in the edge? You will see what is missing and put it there. For example, we have here a polygon which is having four sides. Let's say it can be a square or whatever, but we have four sides. So for this now, we have four vertices. We have how many vertices? One, two, three, four vertices. So for this Arthima ball, which is having four vertices, let's see how many edges are there. We have one, two, three, four edges. So for the edges now, the, the, the rule of Arthima ball is saying that to find the number here at the end, numbers which are in the back, that's, that's why. Here we have two, and here we have five. They are asking us to insert, to complete, to put in here the number which is missing. What is missing? The number here which is missing, it is the number which can be added to this two, which can be added to this two here to get the, the sum of five. Hope we are clear. What does it mean? It means that to get the number which is missing here, we think about the number we can add to this two to get the sum of five. What is that number? You will ask yourself, which number here can I add to two to get five? Which number here can I add to two to get five? What is that number? I think that number is three. To me that this number, when it is added to two, we get five. The number which is missing here is three. Let's, let, let's check if our answer is correct. It will be correct when we add numbers in verses here and we find the sum here at the edge. Let's add two and the three, it is five. I think we are, we are together and you understand this. Now, let's complete now with this one. We have one one vertex here and another vertex here. By adding the numbers in the vertices here, the vertices here, we get the answer in the edge. Here we have two, here we have six. We are missing the number here. We ask you ourselves, which number can we add to two to get the sum here in each six? 
Which number is that? Which number can I add to 2 to, five, to get 6 here? Which number is that? That number, you see here it is 4. When I take 4 plus 2, I can get 6. So, it means that the number which is missing here will be 4, 6. When you add this 4 in this vertex and this 2 in this vertex, I will get this, this sum 6 as the each of this other number. Now, let's open the number which is missing here. I'm having here 3 and I'm having here 8. We can use this side to find the number. Here. You can also use this each to find the number which is missing. Here you have 4, here you have 9. What is it? Here it means that when I add the number which is missing here, and I add this number to this number which is here, we don't know this number, we add it to this one, we get this number. This, this is for one student. Let's take one student from, for example, Miguel. This Miguel is using this method of adding 4 and 9, and he's getting, he's adding 4, and this now which is missing here and gets 9. And the other student, let's say she's left, for example, she is adding this is 3, and the number which is missing here, and she's getting this 8. So, what is that number? Which number is, which is missing? To be added to this three here to get the sum of eight. What is that number? This number which is missing here, when it is added to this number in this vertex, the sum will be to here at each. So that number, as you can see here, it is five. So when you take five plus three, we get eight. So Complete our 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 animal one. Here we put here five. As you can see, when you take four plus five, we get the answer of nine. When you add three and five, we get eight. When you add three and two, we get five. When you add two and four, we get six. Our animal one is complete by adding numbers which are found in the vertices of the polygon and the answer is written in the each of that polygon. Hope you understand this one. Now, let's see example number two. We are having different numbers in vertices of this polygon and we are having here numbers in the edges of this polygon. We need to complete the missing numbers. Which numbers are missing here? We are missing this number, we are missing this number and we are missing this number. But we need to complete them using the rule of arithmetic. This arithmetic is, is having, it's a polygon which is having how many sides? One, two, three, four sides. Our arithmetic here is having four sides. It means that it is also having four vertices. For the four vertices here now, we need to find the numbers which can be written at their edges. What are they now? Here, the numbers to be written in the edge here, it is the number which is the sum of the number which is in this vertex and the number which is in this vertex. And when they are added together, you get the, the, the answer here, which is the sum of the two numbers. Here, let's say, here we can start from this edge or this side. It is having, uh, we are missing a number here and we are missing another, another, another number here. And we cannot guess as easily now as possible to get this answer here because we have we are missing two numbers at the vertices. Let's consider this side again. We are missing the numbers here. We can it's not easy to guess the numbers which are here. Let's start from this one. Wow, here we have this number and the sum of the two the numbers at the vertices. So here we can take a number which is added to this vertex to get this this is sum. What is it? Which number now can be added to this is 3 to get this sum of 8? Which number is added to 3 to get this 8? Which number is that? As you can see, we are missing here 5 which can be added to 3 to get 8. We need to put here 5 because 5 plus 3 is 8. 
the missing number here in this inch to be put in this vertex is 5. To mean that this 5, when it is added to this 3, you will get 8. That is also to be that on this on this inch, for example, we are looking now we have 5 and this 9. You can get the number to complete this and we are going here. What is that? Here we are having 5, but we are missing another number here, which can be added to this 5 to get 9. What is that? The number which can be added to 5 to get 9. In this, in this algebra is 4. To make that we are missing 4, which can be added to 9 to 3, that I mean to 5 to get 9. What is it? We will need to add this number in this vertex. This number, this vertex, when we add them here, they we get 9. Hope you are getting the way we are doing this. Which number now? When I add to this 4, to be completing this number here in this vertex, to get this 7, which number to be added, uh, to be added by 4, to get 7. Which number is that one? One single can it this way. Another one can say, which number can I add to this 3 to get 6? Which number can I add to 3 to get 6? From here, I can use this side or this side. When I use this side, I will take 3 here to be added to 7 to 4 to get 7. Or I can take here, here 3, which can be added to 3 to get 6. That's why the missing number here is 3. It is 3. Good. From my algebra goal, all vertices are complete and all edges are complete. Hope you have understood how we can complete your algebra goal after discovering numbers which are in vertices and numbers which are at each. Good. We can complete also this algebra goal by adding numbers in vertices and numbers. Uh, we get the answer to the edges of this algebra goal. For example, here we have 2, and here we have a sum of 3. We need a number here which can be added to this 2 to get the 3. What's that number? That number here is 1. You can write this answer in your notebook. It is 1. Because 1 plus 2 gives the answer of 3. So, when we add also this 1 to this 2, we can get the answer of 3. You know? When you add 1 and 3, I mean, when you add this one and this one we are reading here, we can get the sum of two. What is it? Add numbers in this vertices, you will get the answer of two. When you add number, which number can we add to this two to get here nine? What is that number? Let's see. Here we have two. Here we have the sum of nine. So. Which number can I add to 2 to get 9? So, you are thinking, what's that number? It is 7. Add 7 to 2, you will get the sum of 9. That's why this number here is 7. When you put 7 here and we add it to 2, we get the sum of 9. I think we are together. Here we have 7 and here we have 1. In the two boxes, when we add, when we add the two boxes here, we will get the sum of 8, which is the age to complete this item. Hope you understand. Thank you very much. Lastly, I want to help you to complete with this one, as we have seen in your, in, your, in your book, the question number 30. It is having numbers in boxes, and we need to complete them as we add numbers in boxes. And write the sum at their ages. What is it? Here we have 10, here we have the sum of 12. Which, which number, you will ask yourself, which number can you add to this 10 to get 12? As you know, the way, which number can I add to 10 to get 12? As you can see, the number you can add to 10 to get 12 is 2. To me, that in the other vertex here, we have 2. Where we can add this 2 to 10 to get 12. Now, when you consider this, this, this 
page now on this side, which, which number can we add to this 10 to get 17? Which number is that? Let's see. Which number can I add to 10 to get 17? Which number is that? As you can see, ah, the number we can add to 10 to get 17 is 7. Hope you answered this in your time. It is 7. 7 plus 10 it is 17. This, this number, the number which is missing here, this vertex is, it is 7. Since 7 plus 10 is 17. Now, which number now can we get when we add, for example, as you can see something, here we can get now the answer here by considering this vertex and this edge and this sum. Which number? have been added to this two to get this two. Which number is that? Which number is added to this two to get this two here? Which number is added to two to get two? Which number is that? Hope you answer it. The number here is zero. Because when you add zero and two, we will get two. To mean that in this vertex, we have a number Zero. Where zero plus two is two. Where zero plus two is two. What can we have here now? As the sum of the two vertices, we have here in seven, seven plus this one, this is zero, to will give the answer here. So seven plus zero equals seven. To me that the sum here is seven. Dear student, I think by completing all four and five here, we have seen how we can complete them using addition. What is it? I want you to remember this. The number which is written here at the inch is the sum of the two vertices. Is the sum of the numbers which are found on two vertices and is written here as the inch. I want to give you the activity to make sure that you understood what you have seen in this part of the lesson. Make sure that you can work out this alphabet code by completing the missing numbers. Here we have no number, here we have no number, and here we don't have number, and here we don't have number. You will complete this alphabet code by respecting the rules of completing it as you have seen. Thank you very much. Work about this one at home. Ask, ask your friends, ask your father and your mother. Thank you very much.